Hello, my name is Hugh Sung. I'm the co-founder of AirTurn, and I'm pleased to announce that the AirTurn BT105 wireless hands-free page turner is compatible with the Android tablet operating system. Specifically, it works with an app called eBook Droid. I'm going to open this up for you, and what you have here is a list of pieces that I've downloaded from my Dropbox account from the internet. I'll go ahead and go ahead and open up this first piece over here. Now, eBook Droid is an open source, uh, general-purpose eBook reader that will read a number of different kinds of file types, including PDFs and even comic book files, from what I understand. But for my uh, demonstration purposes, I'll show you some PDF files that I've loaded here. So you, here you can see some sheet music I have, and I've got my air turned on my feet right now. I'm going to go ahead and I've already synced up the BT-105 with the Android platform. I can turn pages forwards, hands-free, and backwards hands-free wirelessly. Very, very cool. One really cool thing about the AirTurn BT-105 and Android is the fact that there is no problem with using both the BT-105, which acts as an external physical keyboard, and the Android internal software-based keyboard all at the same time. I'll give you an example. So let's say I want to go to a specific page. I can set up my keyboard on my Android to go ahead, ahead let's go to page number five over here. Boom and I can go ahead and do that and that's really no problem. So it'll call up the keyboard and I can still turn pages hands-free as well. See that? So the two will work without conflicting with one another. So that's really, really good news. So again, let's take a look at some of the, the other key features of eBook Droid, and specifically how to get eBook Droid to work of really for musicians who need to have their page turns happen fast enough in performance and with the right uh, view of the music on their Android tablet screen. Now, just to clarify, we're, we've tested the BT-105 with the Motorola Zoom. This is what this is over here, as well as with the Samsung Galaxy Tab Android tablet. So again, let's take a quick look at some of the key features of eBook Droid. Let's get started by getting your Android tablet to connect with your AirTurn BT-105 hands-free page turner. To do so, let's go into the Android tablet settings, and then you want to go into wireless and networks over here. Make sure that your Bluetooth antenna is turned on. Have that checked and go into Bluetooth settings. Okay? Of course, you want to make sure that your AirTurn BT-105 is turned on. I have it turned on over here. You can see that the light is blinking. Okay, So with the AirTurn BT-105 turned on, I'm going to go ahead and tap on Find Nearby Devices. And it'll want, you can see it it's immediately finds the AirTurn. You can see the serial number of the AirTurn BT-105. Go ahead and tap this to pair with the device. And here you go. You can see that the air turn is now connected to your Android tablet. Let's go ahead and go to your home screen. And now let's go ahead and take a look at using the BT-105 with eBook Droid and specifically taking a look at some of the key features of eBook Droid as a PDF reader. Okay, let's go ahead and tap into here. And as you can see, it kind of opens up to a default view of the files that I have in the last opened file uh, folder. You can go ahead and tap on this file folder icon over here on top if you want to look for files in different locations on your Android tablet. What I've done is I've simply downloaded my files directly from the internet using actually a, an online free storage uh, service called Dropbox, but you can get it from other, other website sources, wherever you want to download your files. And typically when you're downloading files, it'll go directly into the folder appropriately named download. So here we go. Here's the download folder over here. And so you can navigate to any of the files anywhere on your Android tablet. Okay, let's go ahead and open up one of these pieces over here on top. Tap on that, and here you go. Now, uh, there are several things that you can do. As you can see, there, the pages over here in this view are kind of running into each other. Let's go ahead and play with some of the settings so we can optimize our reading experience, okay? So to change our settings, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over into this icon that looks like these little gears over here, all right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this into single page mode and just kind of get rid of that. Page align mode over here is set right now to automatic. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to by height. But again, you can play around with these settings depending on your preferences, okay? And there are different animation types. You can set the animation to a slider, curler, fade in, fade out, squeeze, whatever you like. If you don't like any of the animations, whatever, you can change that. But right now I'm going to leave it as slider 
um, over here. So go ahead and cancel it. But you can play with that and see what you prefer. There's a little back arrow over here. So let's go back to our page view. And as you can see, instead of seeing the run on page at the bottom now, it just shows just a single page at a time. That's my personal preference over here. Okay. Of course, with the air term, you can turn pages forwards and backwards hands-free. It's very, very cool. Okay, so you can see that works. Uh, another thing I want to show you really quickly, let's go ahead and if you want to jump to a page, as you can see, the first time I do this after I've just synced my air turn, you don't see the keyboard pop up. You actually have to manually tell the Android operating system that you want to use both the air turn and the internal keyboard on the Android device. So what you can do, take a look at the bottom kind of a dock over here. You can see a tiny icon that looks like an, a keyboard. Tap on that all right and then what you want to do is you want to use the physical keyboard and set that to off once you have that set to off tap on the English keyboard over here and you should see the keyboard pop up and there you go now you can go ahead and type to your heart's content let's go ahead and go to page oh I don't know let's go to page 5 over here tap over here and there you go and you can still again turn pages backwards and forwards okay works just fine Great. Let's do a couple of things just again just to maximize our experience with ebook droid as a sheet music reader. One of the things I want to do is I want to go into this over here. This menu icon goes into more settings. Okay, so let's tap on that, go into all settings. Okay, and I want to go into memory usage settings. This is going to be very, very useful. Memory usage settings. I want to make sure that the pages in memory set to at least two or three okay right now I have it set to three if you have it only set to one the danger you run and you may come across slow page turns if your page turns are too slow make sure that the pages you have in memory are set to at least three or, or more okay I, I probably three is probably optimal so you don't have you don't slow down the buffer too much and yet you have enough pages so you have to if you have to turn pages quickly you can do so with relative ease okay so make sure that's set over here you can adjust things like touch and scrolling for instance if you want to scroll uh, a little bit at a time you can adjust how many pixels at a time it will scroll up and down this is particularly useful uh, for reading music in landscape mode let me let me let me actually demonstrate that okay so let's say i want to read the music in landscape mode over here okay let's do something let's go ahead and as you can see this is adjusting to height over here i'm going to go ahead and change the uh, alignment mode over here to width over here all right and so you can see a portion of the page now I'm going to use my air turn to turn pages and now I'm going to go forward as you can see it only goes forward a small portion at a time see that and you can adjust how much of that gets adjusted right now it's going to page six let's go back a little bit okay page three and again this is where it's going to be useful for you to pre-render your pages a little bit more it's going a little bit slow in this uh, this mode over here it seems to work much better in uh, portrait mode than it does in landscape mode so again I haven't really played with landscape mode viewing that much um, but here you go let's go ahead and I'm going to readjust this so that the page views are set to height okay so as you can see, a little, little buggy reading in landscape mode for right now, but it's still you know, worth experimenting with. I was playing with it a little bit uh, earlier and was able to get a reasonable scroll going. But again, I, I, you have to work with the, it may depend on the file you're working with. Okay? A couple more key uh, neat features. One feature you might like is this kind of reverse mode. Looks like a moon in here. Tap on that and you can see your pages in reverse mode. Okay, this might be useful. Let's say if you're playing in a pit orchestra or a pit band and you don't want the white of the uh, background to shine too much, this will enable you to read your music without having to have too much of a glare from the screen. Okay, so that's something to, to play around with. You can also set bookmarks if you like. You can add bookmarks and jump to book you know, bookmark pages. Again, just a whole couple of really handy, neat features that may come in uh, use not just for reading music, but also reading regular PDF books. So those are a couple of the key features. And again, if you want to close this file, one last thing, if you want to close this file and open a different file, go into the menu here in the corner, tap on close, and then you're free to open up another file from the last selected folder that you were in here you go and again with the air turn you can turn pages forwards backwards hands free 
So there you have it. Those are a couple of key features in terms of setting up eBook Droid and working with some of your PDF files. Now, keep in mind, this is a general purpose eBook reader. It wasn't really designed for musicians per se, so you're not going to have anything like playlists or the ability to annotate. But if you just want a basic PDF reader, a reader for your PDF music files, this will work just fine. And the good news is that it's free. It is open source. And it works perfectly with the AirTurn BT-105 for hands-free page turning of your PDF files on the Android tablet. Now, we do know that there will be more apps for the Android uh, tablet operating system coming soon that will be compatible with the Ayrton BT-105. So, of course, as soon as they come out to market, we'll be sure to let you know. So, anyway, signing off, this is Hugh Sung from Ayrton announcing eBook Droid for the Android tablet compatible with the Ayrton BT-105 hands-free wireless page turner.